Hello, everybody. Welcome to Let's Try. My name is Retromation. This is Orbital Bullet, the 360 degree roguelike, which maybe doesn't quite make sense as a pitch. So let's load in so it'll make sense quite literally immediately. You, you may get it already. The, uh, the perspective is one of the biggest unique things about this particular roguelike. We did play the demo of this. I, I don't know if I... Did I mention that? I think I just did. Uh, and it was a really good time. So I'm excited to uh, to see that the game is out now in early access. See what uh, what we can get into here. So this, uh, this background is kind of like the big gimmick of the game. You know, we if we have a, a weapon that has a long enough range and there's nothing in the way... Uh, well, I guess we don't have the ability to shoot yet, but we will. We'll get that in a second here. So I can show off... Yeah, there we go. If you had a weapon that has a long enough range and there's nothing in the way, there's nothing stopping you from sniping somebody, like, completely in, in what seems like the background, you know? It is, a uh, it's an interesting idea. Just that right there. And, uh, coupled with a bunch of cool, cool upgrades and different types of, uh, like, skill tree style in-run progression, I, uh, I've really enjoyed my brief time with it. So, let's check this bad boy out. Left bumper, jump to the next sector. No ammo. All right. Rifle. Uh, left trigger. We can switch our weapon here. Good stuff. All righty. Oh, <laughs> I genuinely did not even see that enemy. Probably should have looked for, the, you know, the super obvious purple glow there. But we're getting through our tutorial here. What is up in here? Open the map. Uh... So this is our, is that, that's our map? I, I, I guess so. It's just saying that we're kind of like at the tip top of it, I suppose. Da, 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 da. It's got a little bit of a slower weapon here, but packs a little bit more of a punch. Uh, we can jump on enemies' noggins. Whoop. Do we have a double jump? It's right? Yeah, we do. We do indeed. So if we wanted to conserve our ammo a bit, theoretically, we would want to just be jumping on all of their heads here. Let's jump on in. Next. Next. All right. So I, judging by that music transition there, I feel like, oh, oh, yeah. Okay. Thanks. Remember to dodge. Uh, judging by the music transition, we're probably in a real run now is my, uh, my educated guess there. You got some kind of a bomb there. Bomb ammo, maybe. Ah, see, we got to be, we can't be too uh, ammo conscious. We got to make sure we... How do we... Okay, so left bumper. So each sector. By sector, I guess it's saying, like, uh, collect perk. Not sure what that is, but I'm happy to have it. Oh, my God. God, the visual player is super cool. Uh, Moneymaker. <laughs> the way they just shoot out bullets there. Uh, so we got some weapon fragments. That was not in it before. Not sure what the heck those are going to be for. Boink, boink. Oh! Ah, the man in the background. He's in the middle. He's shooting bullets at us. We got to figure out how to get right in there. I'm going to take an educated guess and say that this platform is going to be the way we do it. Uh, but I also got to turn down the music just a, just a touch. It's it's bumping. It's good. But boy, it, it's bumping. So do we have ammo for this? We do. We do indeed. Let's see. We got our grenade launcher. Oh, my God. Oh, okay. So aiming that is pretty fun. Just trying to work out the trajectory is actually really, really interesting. Uh, enter the upgrade station. Explosions have a larger radius. Your weapons have more accuracy. Additional penetrating power, allowing you to destroy objects around you. Or some of the damage from energy types jumps to nearby enemies let's go with a little bit of an accuracy up we also can pick one more fine okay so we spent all of our skill points there we got our accuracy up and also <laughs> maybe against my better judgment wait hold on did we uh did we just skip something whoop i think we might have skipped the floor there Oh my god, trying to hit with the grenade on the flying enemy is not a good call. Not a good call. Who would have thought? Come on up, bat. 
Boink. Good stuff. Good stuff. Do they have a tell on when they're, like, going to attack? I mean, that guy, I can obviously see his tell. It's pretty darn obvious. I guess they, like, start to light up ever so slightly. Aw, oh, I was trying to be cool. But what a fool I am to uh, even attempt to be cool. Collect perk. Life infusion. Level one. Plus five health points. So what was that first thing that we got then? Whoop. Out of ammo. Oh, God. We got to try and grenade a bat now, don't we? Can I... Uh, okay, so I can aim downwards. Oh! <laughs> okay, we'll go for the SMG. Ooh, okay, now that sounds pretty fun. All right. So yeah, we can uh, we can crouch down, enter the skill pattern selector. Okay. So now we are picking the next row in our talent tree. Enhanced energy damage <laughs> meat cannon. Triple dunch, 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 jump, dunch. I don't know where I got the word dunch. I think it was uh, damage, jump, and maybe a, a little bit of lunch, because I think I am indeed hungry. Uh, and then enhanced explosive uh, dunch. Let's just go with that. Critical dunch, explosive dunch, heart dunch, uh, combat dunch. Uh, let's go with this one. It has explosive resistance. That seems like it might be a good call to have as a potential option. Let's go with HP because I think a lot of the time when you're uh, messing with a new roguelike, you kind of want to make sure you have a dunch up like that. Whoop! Gives you a little bit more, a little bit more time to learn the, the enemy patterns if you <laughs> if you have an HP up. I, I'm memeing here. Uh, if it was not clear. Boop, boop, boop. Oh, so that guy can actually uh, break through the wall. I wonder if um, our grenade. Tent, well, too late to see now. Uh, okay, so we're one minute late for what looks like maybe a, a timer, kind of a chest, potentially. What do we have? Oh, so somebody's got some kind of a shockwave. All right. I love how it just keeps on perpetually reminding me that the dodge button exists. Because it's like, oh, surely he doesn't get it. Oh, my God. It might be a good idea to just run into the middle first so that we... Well, okay. So, actually, we don't have to deal with... All right. We don't have to deal with that little uh, the little AOE thing. Whoop. When we're in the middle here. Perspective and all that. Is this a thing that we can... It is a thing we can break. Not sure which currency that was do not recall perk lifesteal chance to kill wait how much money do we have 42 so we actually could get both of these let's just do it sure 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 you're beautiful we have any upgrades we do combat drone follows you and shoots your enemies Let's go for a little bit of explosion immunity, and then we'll focus in a little bit on our... Uh, also, first of all, let's... Uh, okay. I don't know what that means yet, really, any of that stuff on that map. But I really... that uh, The talent tree system is very interesting. Because it's... Uh, the fact that you pick and choose... All right, well, that confirms. He does... Block... Even though he's got a shield, the explosive does not do nothing. Uh, what's up with you? What's your excuse? What? Oh, I had to jump on him before I could deal damage to him. Alrighty. Collect perk. Critical hits. Uh, I'm assuming that X is literally just part of the <laughs> part of the sprite for what critical hits are. I don't think it's saying you don't actually have this. Ah, uh, that little bit of a. Uh, Coyote time, if you will. The little air hover is super nice. I don't know what circle those fools are on. The flying ones. It looks like they are all in the middle there. Whoop. I janked it. Oh, I janked it. Whoop. 
Let's shoot behind. Nice. When you have a really like a really small one like this, uh, a really small circle, you can really sneak your bullets behind enemies without too much uh, trouble, seemingly. Oh, it's a boss floor. I guess we still have to fight some enemies uh, before. Oh, no. Whoa, Nelly. Whoop, whoop, whoop. All right. Oh, king of game. I, I got hit. Theoretical king of game. So we take half damage from our explosions, but we still take damage. So when we hit these guys, they drop out like little grenade -y things. Pick up a blueprint. Weapon fragments. Weapon fragments. Go to the next level. Use this to heal or a rifle. Don't we already have a rifle? No. I, I like the other one better. All right. So wait, that was the boss? Diatis. Ooh, this was not in the demo. Okay. I'll abuse it. I don't care. We can't shoot upwards. I don't think. Oh, we're not immune to that yet. Be careful. You ding dong. There we go. Ah, oh, there we are. <laughs> is there some kind of platforming challenge we can do here? Nope. This music is slightly disturbing. Still got that bump in nature to it. Okay, so that doesn't really actually take us anywhere. Oop. So we got to break that first. Whoop. Oh, we got a shotgun, uh, I, I guess, there. You know what? Sure. We'll go for a shotgun uh, explosion oh, combo. So that guy has some kind of uh, ads that he summons that are just continuing to follow us. Gotcha. Next. I love the jump the next sector button. At first, I didn't know how I was feeling about it, but it's just it's just nice. Just less time wasted. That's just all it is. Do we get hurt by spikes by... Oh. Yes, we do. I didn't know if it was like Spelunky. Oh, my God. We need to get that... Uh, we need to get that other thing pronto. I didn't know if it was like Spelunky where we um, don't take damage if you walk on them horizontally. You know what I'm saying? Oh, my God. Somebody, whoever is doing this, um, this is, oh my god, this is actual hell. Who's, who's doing this explosion thing? Uh, okay. Is it the plant? It was the plant the whole time. I mean, that makes sense. All right. Trying desperately to, uh... Sneak a grenade behind him. Okay, that, that feels really good when you get that <laughs> to happen properly. Oh, my God. There we go. We're golden. Didn't know if that guy had an explosion armor or, or any kind of armor where we need to jump on his head first. Don't know what your deal is at all. But we are slowly getting uh, some vampirism. Whoop! <laughs> God, I really need to get that explosion immunity if I'm going to play with it. I would assume they would not tell us that we can jump to the next sector when there's still stuff for us to play around with. But So these are the ones that drop, drop things on the ground when you hit them. Watch out for that. Is this a new blueprint? Flak cannon. Potentially very exciting. I'm just looking around for... For those explosions that were like penalizing us for. Uh... Oh my god. So that one guy has armor. They were penalizing us for uh, whatever they. <laughs> what was I talking about? Standing still. Yeah, this is the guy with armor. Ah! Dumb hit. Dumb hit. Shouldn't have allowed it. Dumb hit. Dumb hit. I should not have allowed it. Switch. So we don't want to switch, switch the cylinder yet. We want to hop into the middle. Skill pattern. Where? Wait, this triple jump, grenade fire. Wait, grenade fire. What do you mean by that? 
Uh, bomb dodge roll, laser boots, enhanced explosive damage, sure. There we go. We got that invincibility there. Increased damage of all explosive weapons. Let's do it! So we are fully immune to them, which is pretty exciting. And now they do more as well. I am very low HP. Please have health. Oh, you don't always have it. 50 credits to unlock the sniper rifle. So is this like the blueprint system? We don't have enough for the boomerang bola or the shotgun. We already have a shotgun, though. So I don't care too much. Just checking to see if there's anything else. Oh. Wait. Wait, what? Go to the next level. Okay. Alrighty. Yep. Up I go then. It's the temple mound. Okay, so I have my grenades. Just trying to make sure that there's nobody. Okay, so that guy can uh, he can hit from a, a separate circle. Oh my god. What am I doing? Oh. There we go. Yeah. Point. Nice. I'm vibing. Uh, how do I... Like, I wish I could... I can't shoot downwards, I don't think. And my grenades cannot blow up rocks. Maybe if we got more piercing damage or something, we could. Yeah. I think I got that one. Okay. Just blast them. So anyway, I started blasting. The shotgun feels very, very punchy. It's not... Whoa, Nelly! That was terrifying. But I guess we could, like, juggle ourselves off of that guy's head. I suppose. Doink! All right, slowly but surely, we are restoring... Do you have health? Critical hits. You do have health. And honestly, like, going for a passive sounds good. I can only imagine that it applies with, um... Yeah, let's go for more explosion damage, just for fun here. I can only imagine that applies, uh, with explosions too, right? Oh, hello. It does not... The game does not waste your time. And I gotta say, I respect that so much. Ah, ah, ooh, wait, what? What is happening there? It's not the weapon for this guy. There we go. All right, all right, all right. Got up to 65. So we can teleport back. Why would I wanna? Also, where is, uh, where's our experience? Oh, it's in the upper right. Our experience. I feel like explosive damage. I, I would like to get a bomb dodge roll. Explosion radius. I mean, like, we certainly could. I mean, I don't have... Obviously, I know that I don't have any, uh, any abilities to upgrade myself right at this moment. Ah, what is that up there? I see that. But... How does one get to it? How do I get to it? Do I need a triple jump? Also, that's kind of fun. Ooh. Oh, why is this water damaging to me? <laughs> why? All right. Where do I go at this point? I guess I can't get up any higher on this circle. Unless I'm missing something, it seems like, yeah, we're, we're, we're locked out of going any higher on that circle. Switch cylinder. <laughs> Wait, which cylinder is this one now? 
Okay, well, there's enemies here, so we're good. Okay, well. Uh, all right. It's got a portal there. It's a freaking portal bird. Uh, hello there, portal bird. Okay. Watch out, portal bird. <laughs> oh, my God. I did not actually mean to jump to the next sector so quickly there. We can, just blow, we can just blow up. That's kind of nice. All right, so we can't um, can't sneak it under there. We might be able to sneak it down with the right trajectory. Oh, so that guy's got armor on him, anyways. Ugh, I think I was I was right to find a try and find a way to cheese it. Did I get him? Nope. This thing has got to go. I suppose we can just uh, cheese it like this. We do have to jump off that guy's head before we can uh, cheese any further. Oh, hell yeah. Let's go get this thing. <laughs> it's a perk. Stun ammunition. Chance to stun. All right, all right, all right, all right. Just trying to make sure if, if any of these are... Um, those things we gotta whoop dodge off the ground for the the laser beam the long long range laser beam dealios whoop I feel like I'm doing I feel like I'm doing pretty good all things considered enter the boss floor ah something tells me we're gonna actually fight a, we are fighting a real boss. Okay, did I take damage? I took damage from that. That that attack I get. Gotcha. Oh, super cool. Avoid. All right. Yeah. That attack I get. Yep. Not going to say we're uh, we're going to be do dodging everything properly, but I I do get it. All right, I got more ammo. Otherwise, we were about to run out there. Yikes. Oop. We actually get a little bit of extra air time while we fire. Oh, my God. We almost died. All right. <laughs> a rocket launcher. I would like that. Uh, we're at 7 HP. We almost died after. After we killed the boss. Boy, howdy, wouldn't that be the way? Water base. Oh, God, I wish we could have healed. Uh-oh. Uh. Uh, this guy's terrifying. Oh. <laughs> he just walks through it all. He doesn't even care. I I'm gonna, I'm gonna die. Oh, what the hell? I did not. Ex I was not anticipating getting teleported downwards. Classes unlocked. We unlocked four classes. What? Open skill tree. So we can. Uh How do I how do I go back to the uh I guess I picked my class but I didn't mean to yet. Select class. Uh I mean I guess I already did. I want to go back to that class screen there. I guess but I guess we are I guess we picked the mercenary here. Throws a frisbee that fires bullets up and down as it flies. I mean that sounds pretty fun. Dimensional rifts may appear or that teleport you to a parallel universe. Very bizarre. Killing four enemies short time. Your movement speed is increased. So this is this is the global stuff. This all of this applies globally. Uh, I will happily take an Estus flask. But first of all, okay. So we just got we had one of this currency. I'll get a frisbee. Maximum charges of the 
of the Estus Flask go up. Protective shield in addition to your health bonus. Uh, let's get an extra charge in our in our Estus Flask. RB to use Metapack. All right. How do I throw my uh, my boomerang though? Weapon rack. Oh, so we can start with any of these. Boomerang bola. Wait, can we not? We cannot. It's just showing me the ones that we have. There it is. So does it fire like the type of bullets we have? Oh my god. That is so cool. Start game. Lose current nanobytes. Defeat the overseer boss to unlock. Uh, oops. I probably should have gone for the, like, the rocket launcher. I don't know which thing we're losing. I'm guessing all these blue dealios. You know, it's kind of like the dead cell system. I can respect it. I can respect it. Let's go to Ortham. I gotta know. Oh, it's not letting me shoot my ability. My, uh, my boomerang. I guess it must have a much longer cooldown in practice. I was gonna say, it's like... It seemed really quick. Oh, say, I'm trying to... Yep. I don't got it. Uh, and I guess that is our med pack. That thing in the... On the right side of our weapons there. Oh, this weapon. <laughs> I missed my big old explodos. I wonder if uh, each each class probably starts with their own style of weapon. This is this is nice. I, there's more complexity than I anticipated there might be when I played the demo. I I thought that it was just going to be kind of like a more arcadey vibe uh, uh, to a roguelike, but it, it it is a little more arcadey. But it also still has the same trappings that you would uh, you would want in a deeper deeper roguelike so that's that's kind of like a, a beautiful little meat in the whoop, meat in the middle there I, I really like that like i don't know how long a normal run is or anything whoop life steal good deal do we have our ability whoop uh, yeah that makes sense i kind of i kind of trapped myself there yes if I have my, uh, if I have my ability, I'm certainly not able to utilize it. Those shots, they, they really do come out super, super quickly from the, uh, from the tell there. They're just like, BTW, I hope you were, uh, oops, hope you were looking. I'm just, I, th the fact that I've never been able to throw my boomerang yet, do I actually have it? I'm pressing my Estus button. Yep. Good deal. When there's only one enemy left, I suppose we should probably go towards uh, shotgun. Increase the damage of your weapons and items. I mean, like, okay. Why not, right? Combat drone, more accuracy, less spread. Get a drone with us. Oh, so you just kind of just like there. Alrighty. Switch cylinder. Let's do it. New cylinder. New cylinder. Who dis? Okay, so he fires with me. Gotcha. So he's like a. He's a familiar. What? Oh my god, man. He's a familiar, but still requires active gameplay. Which I gotta, I gotta respect. Instead of just like, what if familiar, but he do job for you. You don't have to shoot. I definitely prefer this style for sure. Bip, bip, bip. Yeah, these, this enemy of all the enemies, this one is the one that like I, I feel like is <laughs> the the design of it is a little rougher. Like a lot of the other ones, the tell is very very clear. Those guys don't even look like they're supposed to be shooting bullets. You know what I'm saying? Like, they don't even look like they should be shooting a large, comedically big bullet out of their face, let alone that quickly after the tell. They're kind of, they're kind of funny. 
Trigger Finger, I'm going to assume, is an attack speed upgrade. Chain Lightning, I think only applied to the energy weapon stuff. Reduces the time until you can fire a weapon again after killing an enemy. So, okay, so attack speed. Ah, but I can't pick it until I pick up one that's connected to it. Okay, okay, okay. I really like that system. I think it's very clever. Shotgun, thank you. Boop. Go to the next level. Up we go. To the upper caves. To the upper caves. Oh my god, hello. <laughs> Can't, I'm not quite used to the, uh, yeah, using the closer range weapon in the form of the, uh, the old shot, shotgun. Yeah, we are very, very slow on that right there. What's this thing? I guess that's just where we came from. Whoop. Come here. Come here. Boink. Yeah, he did like <laughs> He's just like BTW, I do shoot bullets. Okay. I think that is our shotgun rounds, right? Yes, it is. So machine gun, grenade launcher. I'm gonna save my money for passives. I feel like that's going to be a smarter route to go for. We don't have any perks. Next cylinder. Whoop. Ave Maria. I like these guys for us with the, the old shotgun there. Stun ammunition. That actually would be pretty fun with a shotgun. Alrighty. We're making some pretty good time now. Dang. Shotgun does work. Also, getting the uh, accuracy up might be pretty decent with that. Cool. Oh. All right, I'm feeling I'm feeling pretty cool with this right now. This uh, this build path that we've got going on is really slick. Doink, doink. No perk. Is there anything that's stopping us from just teleporting back? No. Do I really need a whole perk for recoil? I suppose we could probably, like, save up our points and stuff. I'm a dumb man. Uh, save up our points and stuff. So this is boss floor. Is it really? Is This is the boss. This is the This is the boss. It's an interesting interesting idea going for kind of like a, just a, a wave enemy wave for the first technical boss I'm not gonna say it's dumb or nothing I can't I just genuinely cannot throw my boomerang thing no oh, get off me it ain't a thing theoretically this enemy would be a problem for us whoop whoop I tried I tried Plasma Blaster. Is that guy, like, enraged, cursed, or something? I do have my heal thing still. Grenade launcher. Uh, eh, for the sake of newness, let's say nah. Nah for newness. What do we got? Alright. Something jarring about this... Whoop. This music. Oh, man. Enemies are quite a bit tankier. I feel like we're going to have some uh, some woes with our more shotgun-esque style of weaponry. Ah! 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 What's happening? I don't know, but I'm actually not taking damage. King of games, though? Oop. 
Oh, that makes sense. See, like, I, I'm surprised at how often I am not feeling like, why did I get hit there? I actually don't think I've really felt it. Like, every time I've uh, taken a hit, I'm like, I know why I took a hit, which is so wild that the clarity is there in the actual, like, like, sure, is that enemy, that one enemy that's, like, uh, that I keep talking about with the, the bullet coming out of his face in kind of a funny way? Do I, is it kind of weird? Certainly. But, like, once the bullet's out there on the screen, I'm like, ah, I, know, I, I, I get it. I, I believe that I got hit by that. Uh, I would have thought that the perspective shift would cause some serious legibility issues. But I, so far, so fine. He's got armor. The boss, I, I guess, maybe was the only place of confusion, but I think that I uh, it was probably just overwhelmed by him, and I would probably get it again in the future. Whoop. So far, I'm, I, yeah, I'm, I'm super impressed. I very much, very much enjoy my time with this so far. Uh, if this is something you guys want to see more of, make sure you leave a comment and like the video. Uh, leave a comment letting me know so. Whoop, and like the video. Those are genuinely the ways that uh, YouTube decides whether or not to uh, recommend stuff. So if it's something you want to see more of, that's what that's what you do. I put out videos on Roblox and more, man, every single day. So also, if you're totally new here, and this is a genre of game you are pretty excited about, I, I would consider myself probably a worthy subscription. I can help show you all kinds of games to spend your money on. You like me, but your wallet won't kind of a situation. Uh, wow, we still... Okay. Do I save my points, maybe? Let's save my points. Alright, so there's got to be a way to get that thing there. Upgrade station. Okay. I think I, I'm starting to process the map correctly. Oop. I bet you there's a jump on head build, too. Crits. Okay. Seeing a lot of uh, a lot of the same style of perks, but I'm going to assume and hope that um, maybe those get upgraded as well, the same way that getting more weapons do. Other than that, like the the complexity may come from the, yeah, the, the basically the perk system uh, or the, the talent tree system and unlocking new weapons. As long as there is as long as there's variety in some aspect to keep things fresh and replayable for the roguelike. Which it seems like I, I'm not too worried about that currently since I'm seeing uh, 12 million new wep oh, weapon unlocks a run. Precisely 12 million. We also had that screen back at the, the home base that would actually tell us whoop, exactly. If we wanted to sit there and count it out. I thought you were dead, man. If we wanted to sit there and count it out, we could, uh, we could figure out how many guns are currently in the game. And again, it is early access. All right. Shell damage. Ooh. We get laser boots, triple jump, shell damage. Those are all ones that I'm interested in. I'll get the triple, triple jump into the enhanced shell damage there. All righty. Am I missing something? Weapon unlocked. I guess I'm... Yeah, I guess I don't understand. Is this the one that we're supposed to go to? Okay, I, I guess that's the thing. If, if it's that, uh, like, just the white arrow, then I suppose that that's what that means. That one is the path to go on. Whoop. Like, it's interesting that I'm finding, uh, yeah, the, the enemy attacks more legible and readable than things, simple things like the, um, the map traversal. I still feel like, uh, it, it's, yes, I know that the 360 degrees which should make the, um, the moment to moment traversal a little more complicated, but it doesn't really. However, the, uh, the map structure is slightly uh, very confusing compared to 
what you would think. Like, that's the go to the next level button. Like, I got you there. And we were just kind of exploring more, the equivalent of more rooms, I guess. Like, we didn't have to go and do what we were doing. I mean, I know that everybody in the comments would be like, oh, no, you're just a dummy. You just don't get it. It's like, yeah, but, like, it's a type of system. Like, room traversal you wouldn't think would have any complication to it. So that's just why I bring that up. But that's the kind of thing that's, uh, it's irrelevant, like, one hour into the roguelike when you figured it out, you know? So how many uh, shell rounds do we have? We, we, we got 60. That, that didn't do damage to me, did it? Whoop. Wow. Are shotguns bad against this guy? Didn't we get, we got shell damage upgrade. But you wouldn't know it. Whoop. Grenade right there would be really nice. Okay. We in there, we in there. What's this perk? Stun chance. Gotcha. 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 Da -da -da -da. So many enemies in this small space. What are you doing? Oh, no. Oh, no. All right. We got one out of the way. That's going to help a lot. Get the armor piercing shot there. All right. We're golden. I am no longer worried. Oh my god, stunning flying enemies just brings them straight to the ground. Nice. Uh, oh. I got hit from over there. Ooh, wait, do bull oh my god. Do you have iframes on the dodge? You have iframes on the dodge. Oh shoot. It's all over for you now, game. It's all ogre for you now. Reroll weapon. So we like do a lot of extra damage in melee range. With like the kind of actual blast. Right, for the sake of science. What the ever living hell. So this is our first energy weapon. I see, I see. Whoa! What? What the hell, man? So it looks like you maybe get the ammo for the weapon that you use to kill the enemies with more often. HP, boomerang, bola. Chance of firing a grenade while shooting your gun. I see. Chance of shooting a beam. You can just straight up play down well. Sounds good to me. Oop, boink. God, the, yeah, the time in between uh, your actions is so, so minimal. You have so much actual control here. It's crazy how much control you actually have. It's 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 daunting. It's super nice. Critical hits. Just making sure we got everything here. I also do like just breaking every box like for the hell of it. It's pretty fun. Ah, uh, that's right. That's the enemy. Boop, boop, boop. Yeah. What is up? What's up with you? Weirdly tough with the shotgun. Okay, we're not done with the room. Boink, boink. Boink. So I guess we could theoretically dodge roll through those guys. Okay, I think we've I think we've done it. Alright, boss fight! Question mark. Wow, we really just we did just get to the boss fight again. We gotta be careful. He's got uh He's got a shotgun of his own. Oh, that was not the way to do that. Ah! Yep, that, this is much tougher in this range. So did we get a new one of those for every zone? Is that what it was? Yeah, boy, oh boy. I think that we take uh, melee contact damage. 
Also, you know what would be better? This enemy seems like he'd be, uh, yeah, he's much tougher with a, a close range build. Like, so much tougher. Oops. Like, we've almost, uh, we've almost died here. He's much tougher with a close range build, but he's very pattern based, which I enjoy. As a Cuphead stan and a, uh, a fan of a more traditional uh, bullet bullet hell patterns in a lot of bosses. Whoop. It's pretty satisfying to see that be a thing. Where it's... Whoop. I'm going to die, though. Oh, my God. These enemies will not get off my butt. The power spike. The power spike in the enemies. Holy mother mama. Oh, okay. So, sorry. X is square for the PlayStation. Uh, that We've solved that problem. So, are we a different character right now? It does seem like we are. Select class. Engineer. Put down a turret. It's pretty cool. Throw a grenade that bounces forward. Increases all shell damage. Enemies you kill emit a wave of gunfire. Creating a robot bomb. Buffs up energy type. Buffs up explosive types. And then there's the mercenary that is a regular old bullet boy. Every time you pick up ammo, your rate of fire is increased by 50% for two seconds. Not super exciting. The thing I like about him is the, is the boomerang frisbee, or the frisbee. But I couldn't get that to show up. Just drop both of those in, though. Uh, productive shield in addition. Starting value of your shield. Cooldown of your active item. Uh, get a random weapon when starting a new run. Killing four enemies in a short time. Opening a new chest, you have a chance to find it. In increased chance to find a rare weapon. Sure, let's go for that. But alas, alas, that is that. That is going to do it here for today. This was the old let's try for... <laughs> I, I really like this weapon. I don't know why we weren't able to, to shoot it, though, but oh well. Uh, this is going to do it for today. This has been uh, Orbital Bullet, the 360-degree roguelike. If you want to pick it up for yourself, there's a link at the top of the description. If you want to check out my channel, I put out videos on roguelikes and more every single day, potentially including more Orbital Bullet. If you guys want this to become a daily series, let me know in the comment section below, and also leave a like on the video. Those are two annoying to hear ways to actually genuinely help out both my channel and the game at the same time so if you want to help out one or both of us go ahead and do those two things right there thank you for watching thank you thank you see you next time bye